Hey guys, Noel and Santino here for an exciting video game review for the video game section of the Noel Comics YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be playing a Sega <laughs> title, and it's going to be uh, the newest 2D Sonic game, uh, which are some of my favorite video games to play. It is Sonic Superstars. This is, in uh, some sense, uh, the follow-up to Sonic Mania by Sega. Um, you know now, it's not made by Christian Whitehead, uh, but it is a 2D Sonic game. Um, I would say this is a good game, but is flawed by its exceedingly frrustrating, uh, elongated boss fights that no, get like really, game. really, really bad for the final boss fight. Uh, and I've only beaten this game with uh, the Sonic story, uh, which... This is is a got story. a lot of fun to play. We haven't played the trip story yet. Which is uh, but of the Sonic story. I can tell you, based on the Sonic story, uh, there's uh, some good. There's some room for improvement. Uh, it's not uh, quite as good as Sonic Mania, uh, but it's you definitely not a what? bad game. You know what uh, and it that? is always nice to have a new 2D you know Sonic game with the classic what? Sonic design. You yes, Santino. Done. What's that? I think they kind of retook the levels from Sonic Mania of how good they were. Make the graphics 3D like this. Add more characters and like just build on more levels that are not as bad as these levels that actually in the Sonic universe. So you're saying if you had maintained the uh, levels and the physics of Sonic uh, Mania but added some new levels and some new characters and some new graphics, you think that would have made the ideal 2D Sonic game? Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad take, Santino. Yeah. Uh, Sonic uh, Mania with uh, nice 3D graphics and a 2D game engine with those physics. I don't know, that sounds uh, nice to me. This is a solid Sonic game. When I was playing it, I was thinking to myself, you know, this Sonic game... I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. And then when I was on that final Eggman boss fight, I was thinking, man, I'm giving this a 5 out of 10 because it's so frustrating. And that frustration, I think, could have been solved with, you know, some checkpoints or some extra rings Actually, where you don't have to... Because certain, there are certain boss fights in this game that are basically wor like worth a level's worth of frustration and you don't really get... Um, you know, you don't get these kind of like checkpoints or respawn points if you're going to make the bosses that difficult. The Genesis games did not do that. You know, the Genesis games did have challenging bosses, but, um, they were bosses you could beat, um, you know, in a, in a, in a way where you didn't feel excess, excessively frustrated, uh, and shortchanged for your time. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, there's a lot of good in this game too. And, like, for example, the final boss of Sonic 3. Yeah, the final boss of Sonic... Well, the final boss of Sonic 3 and Knuckles uh, yeah. is... They, it, they, it's reminiscent of the final Sonic boss in here. Except that Sonic boss, uh, the physics in that game were so tight uh, that you could hit him a lot more easily. And also, he had a better tell for his attacks. Um, but there's some really nice uh, anime uh, in this game. Uh, so let's get down to some gameplay here. You can play one player, you can play two player, you can play up to four players. Uh, it's good stuff uh, in a lot of ways. It is Sonic Superstars on the Nintendo Switch is what we're going to be reviewing. We'll do the story mode here. Now, I'll, uh, I'll do, who do you want to be, uh, Sage? You, you start off, you got your classic Sonic characters you can choose from. Yeah. Um, you know, I find Tails is the best overall. Uh, well, he can well, fly, for second, especially for the final boss of Eggman. Uh, Tails really takes some of the edge off. Because I was doing that game with Sonic. Uh, I was doing that boss with Sonic for like two days. And I, I was not going to rage quit and throw my controller, but I was walking away in frustration. I played the game with Tails, and within a few tries, I beat him. So, you know, Tails is definitely someone who can take the edge off on some of the more frustrating aspects of this game. Uh, so who do you want to play as, Santino? You're gonna play his tails? I'm gonna play his knuckles, you know? Alright. Now, knuckles can glide. Now, there is a. Uh, 
kind of an interesting mechanic here where Can you see that? the camera will pan out a lot. Uh, and if you fall behind, you can just hit A and you'll catch up with uh, your, your buddy here. I think that's a special stage. Yeah, we're in a special stage. So we're also going to show you what the stats is. Mm-hmm. <coughs> uh, so you gotta do these like homing attacks to get to the emerald. Hit it, hit the button, Santina. Hit it again. Yeah. When you're looped forward, you gotta hit it. Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can get this right. Yeah, I messed that up. This is a little confusing, honestly. Yo, Santina. I'm pressing A. How did I die? I, I, I honestly don't even remember how to do this here. Um, yeah, so the special stage is not intuitive. Um, but uh, I love the look of this game. You know, it's... Uh, the character designs are uh, spot on. Uh, really good uh, 3D graphics uh, with uh, the you know what Mega I like? Drive designs. The game is actually original. The yeah, they do have original levels. They're not retreads of old levels. Uh, like, however, uh, I don't know. Some of the... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think there, that in some cases, some of the old there, levels so. might have been a bit better. Uh, but, you know, it is definitely nice not to just have the same levels a million times. Yeah. Um, there are some levels that have, you know, kind of gimmicky things. There's one level that borrows a lot from, uh, you know, Fantasy Zone, which I actually yeah. thought was, like, really cool. The, the game kind of turns into a shmup. For a level, um, but then there's other levels where they'll do things that will make like the whole screen jerk, and it's uh, kind of disjointing, uh, or you know, kind of uh, disorienting, I should say. Um, so, but this is an interesting mechanic here. You can run up the side of the wall there. Gotta go. The music back. is good. It's quite good, but it's not as memorable as anything from Dreams Come True, or Michael Jackson, or Sonic Mania, but it is good. I go all the way to me. I what once me and my dad beat um Titanic Monarch one time. Um, I literally basically had the song stuck in my head for a while. Yeah. Because of how good the song was. Got a boss fight here. I would, I you know, I definitely would like to see more games like this, but uh. Things that would, uh, you know, kind of cut, also it's kinda cut off some of the more frustrating elements of this game here. I mean, I, I tell you, these early boss fights are uh, kind of wonky. Da Daddy, no! I'm not no, there no, yet. I'm not there yet. Um, wait, I'm gonna, I wanna... You want some get, more rings? Yeah, I'm gonna get three, about three rings. Yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. Sorry, Santino. Remember that, um, in the bat, in the final boss? Yes. Well, uh, well, Santino and I spent a lot of time on the final boss here. Oh my god! And, uh, I guess I just gotta keep running here. Finally! There we go. So we beat him. There's the thing. We got this lovable, morbidly obese penguin over here. <laughs> obese penguin! <laughs> I mean, he is. He's an obese penguin. What do you mean by obese? He's very chubby. Oh, the baby's home. Speaking of chubby. Yeah, speaking of chubby, our lovable chubby baby is home. <laughs> the baby's now on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, well, okay. We should have an ice bag and our baby sister should be on there. Uh, because <laughs> she's in mint. Not any videos. Um, I remember she was in a Mortal Kombat video. And then... yeah, yes, that is true. Yeah. Oh, Serafina wants to play now. Say, you know, you play. You lead the way. She'll follow along. Can I say? <laughs> all right, all right. So yeah, there are buttons you can you can uh, trigger like little kind of special skill moves once you get the like, Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, sadly we only have one because it's very complicated. Spin dash. <laughs> the baby. I can't believe the baby showed bit the viewers different stuff. Yeah, it's good it's, work, baby. Yeah. He showed the viewers the emerald powers. Yes. 
I wonder what that medallion does. Go, Santino, just go forward. Okay. I'm gonna fly up. It's at the baby. Go, Santino. You lead the way, so I'll follow. Is this fun? Go, man, go. Okay. Go back and get these rings. Mm-hmm. Good. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Mm-hmm. Last time, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll I'll take it, baby. Yeah, because you know, baby would lose to the boss fight. Okay. No, baby's gonna try again. Say, yeah. you go, 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 go. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, nah, it's fine, Santino. You know, just play. Okay. Go, oh, man, go. Oh my God, I t I forgot how to do this, boss. Hit him! Hit him when he hit him when his head is is available. Oh my God. There it is. One. Getting on the back of. There it is. Go, go again. It's getting in the corner. There it is. Go, 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 Santino. Go back. Hit him again. Hit him again. Really nah, I think there's more to him. Okay. Hit that rings, buddy. Okay. <laughs> this is all you, Santino. You gotta get it, man. Okay. The baby's playing. I, we need to keep Get the, the ring and get the head now. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Uh, no! Yes! I beat him. Is this it? Yes. Yeah, this is... <laughs> 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 go guys, go! <laughs> Hit it, Santino! <laughs> Good work! Alright! Good work, baby. Even though you did All right. absolutely nothing. That's not true. She was very helpful and did the emerald moves there. No, well, there you have it, guys. Santino, get on camera. We're going to wrap up this review here. So there you have it, guys. That is a nice <laughs> little sample of uh, Sonic uh, Superstars for the Nintendo Switch. A quality game that even a uh, lovable, uh, pretty two-year-old can play, a uh, hunky forty-year-old can play, and a lovable uh, seven-year-old can play because Sonic truly is Despite that for be all ages. Yeah. Because to well, dis despite that being me, that I'm actually like really good at platformers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the age of seven. <laughs> yes, you were very good at platformers, especially for the age of seven. You're way better than I was. Well, there you have it, guys. Until next time, on a scale of 1 to 10, we give this a game. <coughs> I mean, with the boss fights, I'm going to be serious here. A 6 out of 10. Um, but if you're looking just for the levels and the fun factor, 30 out of 10. So if you can uh, figure out the boss fights, it's fun. But you might be in for some frustration. Um, we'll talk about it a little more when we uh, do the trip stuff. And until next time, guys, I'm Noel. This is Serafina and Santino. We will see you in the very near future on the old comics YouTube channel. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>